Hello my friend, as promised, I will make a video tutorial on how I design my plans when my channel reach 50k subscribers. So here it is, the first video on how I design my plans. There will be two parts. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I prepare and model an aircraft in 3D modeling software. In this case, I use Blender and Inkscape. Both are free softwares. And the second part will be about converting 3D model into printable plans. Okay, let's start modeling. First, we need to gather enough data for modeling. It's mainly blueprints or three view drawings and photos of the real aircraft. They are easy to obtain, just use Google image to search them like this. Here, I try to search MQ-9 Reaper blueprint. There are many versions of it, they all not the same. In my experience, I never trust a single blueprint. You have to compare it with other blueprints and photos. I also have more trust on plastic model kit manual for blueprint compared to just drawing. The plane we are going to build is Zenith CH750 Super Duty. And let's go to their website and see if we can find 3 view drawings. Ok, here they are. Downloading 3 view drawings and let's see if they are ready to use or not. We need a new software, it's a vector drawing software. Here I use Inkscape, it's free. Next we will prepare the 3 view drawings to be used on Blender. Open the Inkscape and import or drag all the drawings into Inkscape. Now we check if each of the drawing has the same scale. The front view is smaller than the top view. As you can see here, so I adjust the size of the front view to have the same scale from the top view. To zoom in and out, press and hold down control key while scrolling with your mouse roller. To pan the screen, press and hold down spacebar while move your mouse. To select object, click left mouse button. To bring the guideline, just drag the ruler from the left or top side. To remove it, just drag it back to the place where it came from. Also adjust the side view if needed. Compare the length from the tip of the spinner to the tail. Use the top view as reference and adjust the size of the side view to match it. Hold down control key while resize the drawing, so it will maintain the same ratio and not ruin the drawing. Now gather around all three drawings close to each other, group them, and then draw or make a square to unite the drawings by placing all three few drawings inside the square. Why square? Because it's easy to see if the drawing is deformed or not on Blender if it is in square shape. Next we export this setup in PNG and then save the file and we done here preparing the three few drawings. Let's move to Blender. Start your Blender. Here I use Blender 2.90.1 version and choose General on New File. Delete all three objects by blocking them with your mouse by dragging a box outside them and press Delete. On Edit menu, go to Preferences and select Key Map. And then change Select with Mouse Button Settings to Left Click, the default is Right Click. This setting was one that preventing me to learn Blender earlier because the interface was very confusing on older version. I'm glad they changed it, just simple thing matters completely. Now we're going to import the three view drawing that we already set up. This viewport is in perspective, we need to change it to any flat view. Let's start with side view or view on X axis. You can see here on the axis display on top right corner, whenever we hover the mouse on each axis, there will be pop up about info of function and shortcut any button or icon has that kind of pop-up so you can memorize the shortcut to speed up your work if you want to and then select the x axis you can see the viewports is changing from perspective view to flat view or 2d view now we can import the drawings choose add here an image and choose reference Now we have a reference drawing on x-axis. How to orbit the view like this? Just drag your mouse using middle mouse button. Use your mouse scroller to zoom in and out. To pan the view, press and hold the shift key while dragging your mouse using middle mouse button. You can familiarize the view control before moving to the next step. Move back the drawing to give room to the model on the center of the axis. Move it by click move icon here and then drag the red arrow like this. Now arrange the drawing so the side view sit nicely on the x-axis. Choose x-axis view first.
oops I almost forgot before doing it we need to set the unit measurement first choose this icon and go to unit setup in here I use metric and choose centimeters for length you are free to use imperial here now go back to side view and adjust the size of the wingspan to desired size I wanted to make the model wingspan 120 centimeters I think it's ideal for this type of plane use measure tool to measure the wingspan Use scale tool to resize the drawing. Okay, we already set the actual size of the model which is 120 cm. Don't forget to save the work. Now we need to arrange the three view drawing on other two axes, Y and Z axis. Copy the drawing with Shift D key and then move the drawing. To rotate, use Rotate tool here. Before rotating, hold down Ctrl key and then rotate 90 degree. Here you will see if you don't hold the Ctrl key, you won't be able to set the degree precisely like this. Look at on top left corner, there is status number of the rotation degree. And then arrange its drawing like this, so we will have the drawing on each axis, X, Y, and Z. If you want to break 2D view and back to 3D view, just check the viewport with middle mouse button, you will back to in 3D view. Okay, now 3 view drawing already in its place, let's begin modeling. Before start with modeling, let us refresh the view control. To orbit the view, drag your middle mouse button. To zoom in and out, use your mouse crawler. To pan the view, hold shift and drag your middle mouse button. And we're going to use this basic geometry in our project. Click add, choose mesh and a plane, a cube, a cone and a cylinder. In Blender, it has two different modes for modeling, object mode and edit mode. Object mode to move and rotate the objects, edit mode to edit the object shape. You have to enter the correct mode in order to perform different tests, otherwise it will lock and you can change anything. You can switch between two modes by press tab key. Inside edit mode, there are three different selections. Vertex, to edit vertex point like this. Edge is like this. And face is like this. Next is editing functions that we are going to use. The first is Extrude. On edit mode, select a face, press E on keyboard, and then right click on your mouse to bring the arrow gizmo visible again. And then move the arrow. You can also extrude edges like this. Delete this face so I can demonstrate. By holding shift key, select all four edges and press E, right click and then move the arrow. You can resize a face by using two ways, one with scale tool like this, and you can press S key on keyboard and drag to resize like this. You can also resize whole object with variable like this. Pull this table here and change the number or blank. Okay, that's it for now. Still there's more but I will tell you when we work on our project. Okay, let's start with a cube and working from side view or x-axis. Switch to edit mode to resize the cube by moving the vertex. Select two upper vertex on the cube and move them down. Oops, I forgot to make the cube see through so the other two vertex on the back can be selected too. 
press Alt C to make all the object transparent. Now select again the vertex and resize the cube to match the aircraft side view shape. Now match it from the top view. Now I'm going to show you an important function for modeling by using mirror modifier. Still on edit mode, change to face selection, select all. Don't forget to make it transparent first with Alt Z. And then use loop cut tool to cut it right on the center to cut in half. And then delete the half of the tail shape. On here I use vertex selection. You can also use face selection. Switch to object mode to be able to apply mirror modifier. On the right side tab, click wrench icon or modifier properties, add modifier and choose mirror. You can see here the tail is already mirrored. When mirrored, any changes on the right side will be mirrored on the left side. So the shape will always symmetrical. Back to edit mode with edge selection and then select all edges on the front, extrude them with pressing E, right click and move the arrow. Switch to side view and edit the shape using vertex selection. Apparently I need more vertex here. To add vertex on the middle, on edit mode, choose edge, click the edge, right click, and choose subdivide. There will be a new vertex on the middle. I use extrude function for this. On this side, we need to perform a stitch because the vertex is not connected to its previous segment. Select the vertex by hold down shift key and with the back vertex less to be selected. Right click and choose merge vertices and choose at last. But we don't need to merge this vertex because still in mirror modifier. You can see here the wireframe only visible when in edit mode. But you can make it always visible by setting this up. After matching up with side and top view, we haven't done it on front view. Don't worry if it's not really accurate, just do the best you can. We're going to make the cowl edge here a bit curved shape like the front view. So we need more edges. To add them, choose the edges that we need to split, right click and choose subdivide. Also, you can create new edges by cutting a face with knife tool. Select the face, click knife tool, use mouse to make a cutting line. When you are sure, press enter to cut. Now we can adjust the vertices so it will form a curve on the cowl. And then we need to make a curve on the windshield too. So here I connecting some vertices. This vertex is not needed anymore so I dissolve the vertex. Now we need to create faces to cover the hole on the windshield. Here I extrude the edge to create faces. 
and then we need to stitch or merge the new face vertices into nearby existing vertices to finish closing the hole apparently we need more vertices so I create them by subdividing an edge and then finishing up by connecting vertices into edges here I try to match the windshield lines with the top view drawing but it didn't end up well when I see on the side view this is just like what I said on the beginning of this video never trust a single three view drawing sometimes you have to compare it with photos of, of the actual aircraft just ignore the top view and match it only to front and side view extrude the edges to complete the cowl When modeling, I rarely focus on one part only, especially when I don't have idea about what to do next. So here I switch working on the tail part, because it's easier. We're going to make a vertical stabilizer. I use a plane as basic and rotate it 90 degree like this. And edit its vertices to shape like a vertical step. On this model, I plan to use 5mm foam, so here how I make the material thickness matching the real life material. Go to modifier properties, add modifier, and choose solidity. Change it to 0.5cm. You can see here the arrow gizmo still on the center of previous plane that we created. Just right click, set origin, and choose origins to center of mass, volume. Now the arrow already on the center of vertical step. Now make horizontal step with the same method. Now we are going to model its wing, still using a plane or planar, but with different method. We start by tracing the airfoil. Select the face and use knife tool to trace the airfoil on the side view drawing. Press enter to complete the cutting. Now select the airfoil profile. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection and delete all faces, exclude the airfoil. Now we have the airfoil profile and then move it to its place. Now extrude the face to form a wing. Extend the wing tip a bit longer than the drawing. We're going to cut it with Boolean modifier. First, we need to create an object to cut, which is a cube. Resize the cube smaller and lay out it like this to cut the wing tip. Select the wing first in object mode. Open modifier properties, add modifier and choose boolean. Choose difference on boolean tab and pick the object by clicking the pivot icon. The object is the cube. You can see the wing is already cut but still need to do one more thing to complete the process. Click the drop down menu arrow here and click apply. Now the process is complete, you can delete the cube. You can see here I switch to object mode to delete that cube. 
Now continue modeling the wing by extrude it to the center. And then mirror it to the left or X axis. To see the model alone, for cleaner view, you can hide objects by selecting the object and press H. To make them visible again, press Alt H. So here I continue again the nose part by using extrude on the edges. Here I cut with knife tool. To close the hole on the front of the cow, I choose all the edges that surround it and press F or through right click menu and create a face. Next model a spinner, I use cone shape. Here I extensively use S key to resize and G key to move the object faster. Here I wanted to add more edges on this code. I already tried with loop cut hole tool but it can do that. So I use knife tool instead. But apparently it only cut half the way. So I use mirror modifier to do the left side. Ok, the nose part is already shaped up according to the view drawing, let's compare it to the real plane. Mm, it's not the same, the real one have more pointy nose. So this is one more time just like what I said on the beginning of this video, sometimes you need to compare it with photos not just using 3 view drawing. So here I reshape again the cowl part to resemble the real plane in the photos. Here the upper edges is too curvy compared to the real plane, so I adjust it to be more flat. Okay, a bit better, but I feel something still off. Maybe if we look at smooth mode, right click and choose shade smooth. Yeah, I think still needs more adjustment.
Okay, I think that's enough. Let's visit it again next time. Now, what if we add more detail into it? Next, adding a slat to the wing. My plan is to use a single sheet of foam for the slat. Copy these faces by pressing Shift D and move it to the front and spare it with right click spare it from selection. Now it's already detached from the wing. Here I add more edges to give it smoother shape. I just use subdivide like usual. And then adjusting the vertices from side view. Okay, I think that's all the basic shape of the aircraft. Here I want to make all object look smooth. Besides, just right click and choose smooth shade. You also need to set this up, so the smooth result would not look weird. Like I said, I wanted to make a model that's not too complicated. I will use all windows with stickers, but I want to see how it looks like when the stickers for window is in its place. I copy the fuselage but not moving it, and then hide the original one. You can see which is which by looking at this status. And then on the view's last copy, I cut the windows by following the side view drawing. And then delete all faces exclude the windows. Okay, here I change the color of material of the windows so it looks different from the rest. With the window selected, click material properties and then add material. Name it with glass. And then scroll down to viewport display and change the color to black. You can see the window changes color instantly to black. Now add thickness to the window with solidity modifier 2.1 cm. And now unhide all objects, press Alt H. And here I add detail to the windows. I'm going to add wheels just to see it with wheels because I'm going to use foam wheel for the model. I start with the cylinder. Resize and match it with the side view drawing. In this photo, all wheels look in the same size, so we'll copy that. This wheel is exactly 5 cm, so we can use 50 mm foam wheel later on the model. We're going to model a simple wheel. Select the two side faces and insert the face by pressing I key. And then extrude it and push inside the cylinder like this. Separate selection the middle one, assign the wheel with glass or black color material, and create new material and name it foam and assign to the middle wheel, and then join both objects. Now we have a simple wheel, copy the wheel and arrange them. Here I will make a landing gear strut. Start with the cylinder, resize it with dimension box here on top right corner. And then add detail like this using a plane and cut it with knife tool. Extrude a bit and add mirror modifier.
now making a start for the main landing gear. And then add thickness with solidity modifier. And then join them to become one object. Apparently it looks weird. It's because the strut solidity modifier haven't applied yet. Assign the strut with foam material. And then join them. And then copy and mirror it with right click function. Mirror it in X global. And now I add more details which is the wing strut. Now I know why the nose still a bit off if compare with the photo. Maybe because using different engine will make the nose longer. So here I extend the nose longer and I think that's perfect. And here I forgot about the aileron. Here I made it using a plane. I think you can do it so easy. I plan to use 5 mm foam so I match the thickness 0.5 cm here and about the inverted airfoil on the horizontal step my plan is to use KMF airfoil so I just need to stack more foam on the bottom like this okay that's it the aircraft model is complete with exactly made with the same size of the model later on the next tutorial video or part 2 will show you how to convert this 3D model into printable plans that really ready for building.